Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to this Bulls Digital Update. My name is Paul Peck, joined by UB baseball head coach Ron Torgowski. It is that time of year, Ron. You are almost set to go. Your season starts next weekend down in Tennessee. Uh, even though it's a little cold and sometimes a little snowy, you've been in baseball mode for a while, haven't you? Absolutely. Absolutely. We've been practicing for a couple weeks now. Uh, guys are getting antsy, getting ready to get outside. Uh, we're going to try and get out a couple days before we get down there. Hopefully the weather uh, cooperates and gives us that opportunity. So you're uh, you're off to Tennessee to take on UT Martin next weekend, and then you're in Kentucky the following weekend. That first 26 on the road, which is not unusual for your team. Where else are you going uh, early on in the year? Any place uh, fun and warm? Uh, let's hope so. Uh, we're hoping they're all warm. Uh, but we go Tennessee Martin, which uh, we were there last year. Long drive, but uh, you know, good opportunity to play in decent weather. Uh, then we head to Murray State down in Kentucky. Uh, James Madison, which is a good team down in Virginia, and then we uh, fly out to Oklahoma. We'll play Oklahoma, which uh, is typically a top 25 program. We'll go down and play them a four-game series, and then we head to Texas for 10 days. Great. Uh, we're down at Texas Rio Grande, which we're hoping is good weather. It's usually around 80 at that time, and then we head up to Sam Houston State, who uh, – who was a 44 game winner last year, a regional team. So uh, we got it's a challenging schedule, probably one of the toughest we've had. Uh, but, you know, hey, we, we got to prepare for Mac play. And, and I think this this non conference schedule will get us ready. All right. Before we dip uh, too heavily into your team for this year, I, I do want to touch on a couple of things that happened through the offseason, which is three of your players, pitchers, signing Major League Baseball contracts. Talk about the impact that has on your program, your current players, your recruiting, when they can look at guys like Mike Kalen and Blair Laxo and Mike McGee and see him pitching professionally. Well, it does wonders for our program because every kid out there when you're recruiting them they dream of, of having that opportunity to play and we've been successful the last several years in getting guys and and giving them that opportunity to go play at the next level and to have three in one year it's you know a credit to those guys because they've been working real hard but also my pitching coach Steve Zeroli does a tremendous job with the guys uh they develop they, they come in and, and they develop year by year and uh you know, you hope they get that opportunity. And Mike Kalen had a real good year for us, was drafted in June. Uh, Blair Laxo, a guy we thought would be coming back, had a great summer and, and was eligible to sign and, and got a great offer from the Twins in August. Uh, and that one hurt because it was a couple days before school started. But, again, a great opportunity for Blair. And then just recently, uh, just a couple days ago, Mike McGee, who pitched for us two years ago uh, and had – Tommy John surgery, rehabbed, and was able to sign with the Reds. So, uh, you know, a, a credit to him being able to rehab, coming back from Tommy John, and and having the interest of the pro pro organizations, and, and somebody took a chance on him. Yeah, it's great. It's great for the program, and you and I were talking before we started. It looks like you're going to have a major leaguer in Tom Murphy with the Rockies at the catcher position this year. So uh, you, you're starting to spread that UB baseball love all over the major leagues, which is pretty cool. Trying to get it out there. You know, with, with Murph – Hopefully, you know, he's up with the Rockies all year. And Steve Geltz just signed with the Brewers. He was with the Rays the last couple of years, uh, which, which again, is great for us and for recruiting because there aren't many teams that, that can say they got two guys in the big leagues, um, you know, and, and we do right now. So that it's a credit, again, to those guys working hard, and, and hopefully they, they both stick up there all year. All right, well, maybe a year from now we're talking about another two guys going into the majors, which are the two players that you're returning to your team as all Mac guys, and that's pitcher Alec Tui, uh and, of course, one of your outstanding hitters in Vinny Millar. Are you leaning pretty heavily on those guys to lead the way this year? Absolutely. You know, Al Alex is coming off a tremendous year as a junior. Uh, every Friday he went out there, gave us six, seven, eight innings, uh, just the bulldog mentality, uh, and you know he, he's our leader. You know how he goes on Friday; it's, it kind of sets the tone for the weekend, and uh, we're expecting big things out of him. And then Vinny, who uh, put up great numbers last year, finished with 13 home runs, hit about 350. Uh, he's coming off Tommy John surgery, which he had in July, so he'll probably probably be limited to the DH role, but he is back swinging. Uh, full go so uh you know we're expecting big things out of him as well you and i are a little 
more mature, for lack of a better way to say it? Do any of these guys actually know who Tommy John is, or do they just <laughs> know that it's the surgery that they have to have? Hey, probably more just the surgery. <laughs> uh, we watch Tommy John. I don't know if they've ever had that opportunity. He was a great <laughs> pitcher for the Dodgers and the Yankees, in case anybody doesn't know. Tommy John was outstanding, and because his was the first surgery done in right. that style, that's why they call it Tommy John surgery. It's now it's like as, it's as ubiquitous as Kleenex when you, Absolutely. you know, right? Right. Absolutely. Very yeah. common these days. Yeah. So, all right. Well, good luck on the road trip. As we catch up with you uh, early on here in the season, we'll get a little more in-depth on your team and on your structure, but at least have fun down there in Tennessee next weekend. Awesome. Great. Thanks, All Paul. right. Ron Torgalski is the UB baseball head coach. His season about to get started, and we thank him for joining us on this Bulls Digital Update.